All right, I just got a uh, special hat in the mail, and I ordered it off Amazon. Um, has a mount for GoPro camera on the hat itself. It uh, will let me video close up what I'm working on. Now, the only problem with the hat is I also have to have my magnifiers, and I can't wear the hat while I wear the magnifiers. So I took a uh, GoPro mount and uh, drill, drilled a couple of holes into this uh, shelf that holds the uh, lenses and comes down over your face so you can look through your lenses and uh, mounted this onto the uh, shelf of the uh, magnifiers. And I've got this... Uh, small rig mount which is a frame that you can load your hero 8 into and uh it seems to work pretty good uh it's a little heavy and i don't know how it's going to work and i quite honestly i don't know if it's going to make you sick having me have it on my head but uh i can switch between that camera there that camera mounted to there and uh this camera on my head and we'll see if it works out i'm just trying it out for the first time i wouldn't suggest buying the hat with a mount um only because well it's good for sitting still but if you're buying it to wear while you ride a bicycle uh the camera and the uh, mount is gonna be a little heavy and the hat just does not fit that solidly on your head you might have to get a chin strap because <laughs> your camera would be falling off off all of your camera would have a tendency to fall off because of your head bouncing around while you're uh, riding on a bicycle anyway i don't know if i'd even suggest it suggest it uh, when you're uh, walking anyway certainly not when you're running all right time to get busy on my clay Time to play with some clay. I'm uh, just trying something here. Just putting this... Uh, Play on to give the uh, front hair that is loose and puffy some uh, structure and uh, my uh, sculpting stand is a bit uneven in its way of standing so it rocks when I work on uh, this part of the clay when I'm rolling and uh, and I don't know I'm still not convinced I'm going to finish this buffalo I just I don't know it's still not there as far as my feelings for it I mean, it's a good buffalo, but I don't know. The uh, magnifier mount is a much more stable mount. It doesn't rock on my head. And that's because the uh, magnifier fits tightly against my uh, forehead and around my head. Much tighter than a baseball cap does. So I wouldn't waste my money on the base cup ball cap. If you got a, uh, well, I don't know. I can't tell you what to do. If you're riding a bike, you're probably wearing a helmet anyway with a mount on it. I'm always looking for new ways to uh, put you in the front seat of me sculpting. 
and uh, to make it feel like you're there looking through my eyes. I thought this was kind of cool. Whether I like it or not, will it be determined after today's shoot? can't tell you how much money I've spent over the years trying to improve my cameras and everything else to bring the videos to you and uh, make you feel like you're sitting here in my seat with me. That's why I kind of wish, wish you would like and subscribe my uh, channel if you like it. That helps me get more views. And uh, purchasing my uh, instructional videos, if you're interested in sculpting, it all helps in the uh, cost of bringing me to you. And if you subscribe, I I'll click on that bell so that you can receive updates of my videos. Let's see if I better get that. I don't know how much I've actually recorded because quite honestly I have no way of seeing whether my camera on my head has turned on or not and I just checked it and it wasn't on so I don't know how much I've been recording. Sometimes the Hero 8 will answer to your commands and sometimes it won't. And uh when it doesn't, it makes you really irritated. <laughs> Again, I'm just trying out the texture for the fur. I noticed that the uh, photograph shows lines in the fur. And uh, this tuft of hair down here, I've got to work that one out. But uh, this is a, a young... Well, I don't know if this is young or, or, or a female. I don't know what it is. It's a white buffalo, of course. But uh, it does give me a good idea of what the uh, textures of the fur are. And I do know that after having owned a buffalo hide at one time, that that center is just like that. So I'm going to have to do some texturing on that part.
I just have to be real careful on the texturing not to make it hard to cast in bronze. It's got to be smooth. It can't be sharp. The indentions. And uh, it's still got to be believable. Believable. All right, that's going to be it for today. I'm just uh, at the point where I've got to decide. i got to do some more research through my photographs to see if I can find some pictures showing uh, fur texture and such. I'm kind of liking the way it's turning, turning out, but this is a little harsh right here. And I've got to figure out how to... Uh, unharsh it so no I'm not going to tear this piece apart because it's it is a good piece it is a good sculpture it's just I got to get to a point where I like it enough to keep going on it all right everybody I, I hope you all have a Good night. Remember to uh, like and subscribe. And I'd sure appreciate all that. Have a great night. See you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.